We're going to spend some time just looking at the grid and how it works. OK, so at the moment we're in grid mode and if you pick up this clip and move it around with the grabber, it's snapping to a grid. How do we define that grid? That's up in the toolbar up here. This is the grid value. I'll click on there. You see it's set to half note. So it's snapping around uh, to minims or half notes or half bars in this case. Now, what I really want to look at is the difference between absolute grid and relative grid mode. At the moment, we're in what's called absolute grid mode. And I'm going to show you what that really means. If we uh, put the edit mode into slip just temporarily and slip this clip off the grid, now we're going to go back into grid mode. I'm using option two and option four to swap between those two modes, by the way. Um, if we now pick up this clip and move it, we're in absolute grid mode. So what will happen is it will snap to the grid itself. OK, there it is snapped onto the grid. Despite the fact that it started off the grid, it's snapping onto the grid. And that's what absolute grid mode means. Now, we're off the grid again, but this time we'll go to what's called relative grid. OK, so I'll click and hold on grid in the edit modes there and choose relative grid. The other way I can do that is by toggling option four. OK, so I'm in relative grid now. And what happens now is that it will snap around, it will jump around in grid values, but it will stay off the grid by exactly the same amount that it is right now. So there it is, it's jumping around in half bars, but it won't snap to the grid itself. It merely moves in grid values, and that's relative grid.